In this problem, I need to factor completely this polynomial here. Well, with any factoring problem, the first thing you look for is, is there a greatest common factor? And if you look at these numbers, 9, negative 30, and 25, there's no common factor there. And they do not all have an x in common. So I'm going to factor this by the AC method. So what I have to do is compare it to this equation here. So a is the coefficient of x squared, so a is 9, b is negative 30, and c is the constant. And now I'm going to have to multiply a times c, so that's 9 times 25, which is 225. So now I need two numbers that multiply to AC, which is 225, and they add to B, that is negative 30. Now, since they multiply to a positive, it says the signs are the same, and since they add to a negative, both signs have to be negative. And I always do this systematically. If you can see the numbers quickly, fine, but if not, I'm going to start with 1 and the number, so in this case it has to be negative 1 and negative 225. Those will definitely multiply to positive 225, negative 1 plus negative 225 is equal to negative 226, definitely not the number I'm looking for. So now, does 2 go into 225? No, 225 is not even, so 2 doesn't go in there. Does 3 go into 225? Yes, I think it goes 75 times. Those multiply together to give me positive 225. Negative 3 plus negative 75 equals negative 78. I'm a long way away from here. So does 4 go into 225? No. And so I'm going to continue this. I'm going to put it on pause and fill in some of the numbers so I don't bore you to tears with all this. Okay, well, I continue to work on it. I just noticed that over here that had fallen off the edge of the page, so I've just rewritten it. I tried negative 5 and negative 45. That didn't work. Negative 9 and negative 25 did not work. But finally negative 15 and negative 15 multiplied to positive 225, negative 15 plus a negative 15 adds to a negative 30. So the numbers, <coughs> excuse me, I'm looking for are my negative 15 and negative 15. Those are not my factors. That's what I'm going to break my middle term down into. So I'm going to rewrite my expression as 9x squared minus 15x minus 15x plus 25. All I've done is broken that middle term of negative 30x into two terms. So now, how many terms do I have in my expression? I have four terms. How do you factor four terms? By grouping. So I look at the first two, and I have to decide what they have in common. Well, 3 divides evenly into 9 and 15, so I can pull a 3 out. They both have an x in common. I can pull a 3x out. So 9x squared divided by 3x is 3x. Negative 15x divided by 3x is minus 5. So now let's look at the next last two terms. But before I do that, remember you bring down that middle sign as is. And what do the last two terms have in common? They don't have an x in common, but 5 divides evenly into both coefficients, so I'm going to pull out a negative 5. And this is where you have to be careful. When you pull a negative out of these two terms, it's going to change the sign of both terms. So negative 5 pulled out of a negative 15x gives me 3x. Pull a negative 5 out of tw positive 25, it's going to leave a negative 5. 
Notice these last two terms here change sign from negative and positive to positive and negative. So now, is this binomial the same as this? Yes, so that's a common binomial factor that we pull in front. And what gets left behind? 3x minus 5. So now I factored my polynomial, but notice in this case, this binomial is the same as this. So we can write this as 3x minus 5 all squared. So we have factored a polynomial. The preferred method of writing the answer is 3x minus 5 all squared, since it's more efficient but this is also considered a correct answer. I want to point out a shortcut that would have worked in this case. It doesn't work in every case. But if you ever notice, the first term is a perfect square and the last term is a perfect square. This might be a perfect square trinomial. So you could quickly guess and see if it works. And by, why, by that I mean, you take the square root of 9x squared, which is 3x and 3x. The square root of 25 is 5 and 5. Multiply to positive, add to negative, both are negative. So that would be your guess. You would foil it out and see if it gave you the correct middle term here. But it won't work in every case. But if you notice that, it would have saved all this work down here. But that's, you just can't guess and go, oh, I bet it works. You have to guess and then foil it out to see if it works.